Cohort studies are of two kinds. They can be prospective and retrospective cohorts. Um, the retrospective cohort can sound confusing because it sounds like a case control study, but it really isn't, and here's why. In a cohort study, you start with an exposure, and then you follow it over time to see what happens. So whether it's a disease, whether it's death, whatever the outcome may be. So we always, in a cohort study, start with an exposure. In a case control study, we start with a disease and go back in time to see what the exposure was. Now, prospective studies, prospective cohorts, fairly easy to understand. You start with a cohort, you follow them forward in time. Retrospective cohort is the same as a prospective cohort, except that it started back in time. So now if you're looking at data that was collected about 20 years ago, for example, and you want to see if people who were exposed to something at that point in time had some sort of disease that came up or what that exposure led to. So you're doing the exact same thing. You're starting with the exposure and getting to the outcome, but you're just doing it back in time instead of going forward in time. So let's say, for example, you wanted to see if there was a relationship between sun exposures to melanoma. So this can be a very, very long process because skin cancers take a very long time to develop. Let's say there was a registry that was established back in the 1960s, hypothetically speaking, of people who were exposed to sun or who got sunburned as teenagers. So now what we can do is we can go back in time, we can look at the registry, we can start at a point in time. Let's say we started 1968. And then we can move forward and see how many of these people who were exposed to sun and who were sunburned then developed melanomas, let's say probably 20 years later, so in 1988. So it's doing the exact same thing. It goes from exposure to outcome, but you're just going, you're just doing it at a, at a back point in time. You're not going forward in time. In cohort studies, the risk factor is collected at baseline. So we already know what the exposure or what the risk factor is. And then we're gonna follow it until the disease occurs or some natural outcome occurs. So it's a fairly simple idea, but it gives you a lot of information because now you're collecting information going forward, particularly with prospective cohorts. So if you wanna set it up or write it out, so we can write it out as the exposure or the risk factor that leads us to disease or no disease. And then we can compare it to, so this is presence, this is going to be absence, again, disease and no disease. Some of the elements of cohort studies are selection of the study subjects. Again, just like with case control studies, it's extremely important to determine in your study methodology where these subjects will come from. Obtaining the data on exposures. So it's sometimes not the easiest thing to understand what the risk factors are or what the exposures are. So one has to be really careful when trying to do cohort studies. There has to be a selection of a comparison group, just as with the case control study where you had cases and controls that were matched. In a prospective or retrospective cohort study going forward, you have to have a comparison group to see what happens if these guys were not exposed. Then there has to be follow-up. So you have to keep following up with the patients. They might come into the hospital or the clinical setting. You might take repeated measurements um, over a very long period of time. And then the analysis of the data has to occur. Selection of the study subjects, they can come from the general population. Um, a lot of times in most cohort studies, they usually do because we're trying to study natural phenomena. We're trying to understand what's going on in real life. You could pick the entire population in an area and use it as a large representative sample or you could take a very large representative sample of a much, much larger population. So either which ways, um, cohorts generally work better when they come from the general population.